Okay, so this is a this is flying dagger. I have managed to lag my way on board. I'm going to go and have a look around. Um, I'm going to show you some of the guest areas, which I don't normally get to do. Uh, but I'm going to also try to get to access to the bridge and to the engine room if I can. I'm not sure what, how they'll feel about that, but uh, we'll, we'll go and find out. Eh? Let's try. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here I am, I'm on board uh, Most Yacht Flying Dagger, uh, registered in the Creek Cayman Islands, one of the islands that I mentioned earlier. And uh, let's go and have a look around. One of the things about the yachts inside is when you come inside a yacht is you can't really, I don't, I don't know whether it really reflects in the footage, but everything you see is absolutely the best quality. Everything, like from the marble to the stone to the, to the, uh, the metals, the aluminium, the, the light switches, everything is absolutely top quality. Another thing about yachts is, especially a yacht of this size, it's quite small. Um, they have, uh, they use, utilize every bit of space. So, I'll walk backwards here, the light's better. You see this on the floor here? You might not be able to see it. So let's see. All right, so you see the little handle there? That is a lever and that is a little thing. Open that up and there's a space underneath it. This is the kind of thing I love to, to, I love to see. The uh, deckhands, uh, they use these fender protectors. So when they put the fenders out, this goes on top and then the fender is fed into it, as you can see. And it protects the paintwork. And then uh, once they finish securing the tender, they make this nice tie with the rope. I love this stuff. Just, uh, it's just otherwise it's just hanging down there, you know, so. So under the inside of this box is all the controls for the bridge uh, wing, uh, for the bridge, uh, and when they dock in the ship they'll, or the boat, they'll come out here, they'll dock from here. So uh, this is always near the bridge, and if, you come if we come back here you can see the bridge is covered. This is just to stop the heat from building up on, in the bridge, because it kind of captures the heat, it's like a greenhouse. And then here's the door so they can get out, so they can just open this out and straight out onto the bridge wing. And this way they. When the captain's up here and he's docking and he's going alongside the starboard side so he's got a great eye view bird's eye view of the boat so there's the bow and then he's looking down here and he can and he can lean out and you can actually see that the it actually uh it's actually like a little the bars come out like this to give him more space so he can actually lean out and while he's docking the ship the supermodel girlfriend of the yacht owner will be lying here with her friends chilling out taking in the sun nice little canopy there as well okay I think we'll this is leading us into the master suite let's have a look yeah. Okay. Very nice. So, that's a pretty big bed. You can get yourself and two supermodels in there, no problem. This is what I'm saying. Look at the TV. Look at the size of that TV. It probably doesn't actually, you probably can't see how big that is. I'd say that's probably a, what, 55 inch? But uh, 
I'm just, it's probably got a, a cover on it as well that closes when it's not in use. It's probably down just to show that the TV's there. This is a, this is a lift, I think. This this thing here is the lift, and it will rise up when the TV's off. Let me just get it down so you can see. So it's, you can see everything is everything's been thought out so well. The cupboards here. Have all the storage space that you've got here. I mean, this, this is a big room for a relatively small yacht, 41 meter yacht. Uh, but it's uh, obviously it's the owner's uh, suite. So look, you've got a balcony out here. So you can go outside, sit out there in the mornings, do cappuccino. And then you've got the controls over here for the for this door here and the lights but you see it says inflate i don't know whether you can see that it says inflate and deflate so what happens is obviously when you're at sea you've got water splashing up and if the if it's not inflated then this is going to get water it's going to come through so what they have around the around the edge of the door is a is it like a rubber seal and when you inflate it it inflates and you hear it sounds like a bicycle in, uh, inner tube being inflated and uh, it inflates and then it seals the door so if it does get any water over then it's uh, not a problem let's have a look at the bathroom there's a shower nice and it goes through straight through there This, like I was saying, the quality of everything, the marble, the, the taps, everything is absolutely top quality. So you have the toilet here, so you've got his and hers toilets. Every discerning billionaire needs that. More with the switches. I like these switches, I've never seen these before. You got, because you need mood switches, right, in your, in your bathroom. So let's have a look. We got one. There's a rainforest shower head as well, which I love. These are amazing. So while I'm shooting this video, what you'll notice is music. I don't know whether you can hear that music, but there's music in the background. There's obviously a, a sound system in here. There's a TV system in here. That TV will be controlled probably by an iPad. Well, there's an iPad on the table there. So that, that iPad will control the audio system or the sounds of the TV system, most likely through a system called Crestron, which, uh, which will switch on the TV, which, which will also control the lights, uh, which will switch over all the different channels. They'll have probably Apple TV, probably TV reception, and all the different features that he will have are all controlled through that iPad. Um, but one of the things you, you won't see in here is any actual equipment. There'll be an amplifier somewhere. There are speakers. There are all the Crestron equipment. All of that equipment is in this room somewhere, but you can't see any of it. And it's all hidden. So when you, when you actually go to work on a boat, it's actually interesting because initially you don't know where any of this equipment is. Now obviously there's wires running everywhere, uh, running to the AV room. Uh, there's, uh, you know, there's uh, all of the, all of the, uh, the electrical cables and all that stuff is hidden in here and sometimes when you have an issue you have to pull down these deck heads uh, and that's where most of it's hidden in there but the amplifier and stuff I would say if I was gonna guess under that desk or in one of these cupboards or even behind the TV it could be that the TV pops out on a bracket and um, and the equipments behind it but it's just interesting that in no other place do you have all this equipment hidden this way. Sometimes you can't even find the light switches on boats. This one's actually quite good because the light switches are quite obvious. Let's have a look at the iPad. Probably shouldn't be touching this, but there you go. So there you go. You've got Apple TV, Spotify, and then this thing, Mr. Smith. And there you go. So we've got 
move, I don't want to press it because if I press it, it will all switch on. But this is how it all works. So you've got YouTube down here, movies, TV shows, TV, music. And this is how they control the whole boat. Hello. I've never seen a bridge like it. Wow. It's very nice. What company, what's this, uh, the company? Furuno. okay. Wow, look at that. And that's uh, your CCTV back there. Very nice. Wow. The only controls, really, the only actual physical controls are the thrusters. Right, so on the bridge wings. Two wing stations, right. Okay. Well, actually, let's see. We have an MTU control. Last there. Nice MTU control. Okay. You have change. Well, my now is off. It's okay. Right. So you can control all the engines. You can start the engines from the bridge. You don't yeah. have to call the engine, the chief engineer, and say start the engines. Yeah, both. Right, so you can do either. Well, from here, from engine room, it's the same if you like. It's okay. To okay. Excellent. And this, all of this equipment behind here. Yeah, that is uh, our control, operative control, electric. That is the monitoring system uh, for the automation board. Okay. Can you open the door so I can yes. see? Thank you. Wow. Okay. So we got navigation lights up here. Navigation lights. Right. Emergency back batteries. Back for emergency batteries, back for uh, all equipment for navigation here. And this is. That is uh, automation control. Uh, automation control. For example, door open closed. Uh, and, uh, so the fire doors, uh, both tight door, doors. Not tight door, we have it here. And uh, no, uh, let's see, open the bridge. Okay. Bridge control and uh, fuel tank. Wow. So you, everything's everything's right here on the bridge. But uh, okay. Generator PMS. Nice. Wow. Yeah. When was this boat built? Sorry? What year was the boat built? This year. This year. It's brand new. So everything's brand new. Yeah. Right. How how long did it take to build? Do you know? Um, I don't know because it maybe five months even maybe one or two years. Okay. Okay, so from 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 project to or from the, the keel being laid until I think you went out for the maximum maximum two minutes. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, so here we got speed log. That's the gyro compass. Yeah, that's okay. Gyro compass. Okay. That is, uh, okay. Okay. And you got Rolls Royce engines. Sorry. Rolls Royce. No, no, the engine is uh, MTU, the Royce is uh, 10. Oh, okay. So oh, right, okay. Oh. Where's the wheel? You've got your actors here, all your targets, showing all the all the boats in the marina, so you can see how busy the marina is. It has a maximum speed, I read on, uh, it has a maximum speed of 34 uh, when knots. When uh, we has a uh, empty 28, full load uh, uh, 21, uh, 22, 20. full load. Okay, okay. Yeah, full load. All right, so and it's so it's okay. So you, you, 
depends of uh, the wind, uh, right. uh, the right. waves. Okay. Like that. And you, and you uh, obviously in sea trials you would have tested full speed. They tested full speed, they tested knots. Okay. But it's good, and I was uh, in, good con in good condition. How was that? How was it? Good? Very yeah. Good. Was it stable? Yeah. 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 No, you don't get many vessels that do uh, 30 knots these days, especially yachts. Yeah. They're not really built for speed usually, are they? They're built for comfort. Is it difficult to, to find the, the boat uh, fast like here? Okay. No, please. Right. We have, we have a chain engine, really strong engine. Right. Yeah. 2,600 power outs each. Wow. Yeah. It's, and th it's three engines, right? Three. Three engines. Port side, uh, starboard side, and booster on the middle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I love, I love the, the, all the conning station. Everything is just all digital. What's it like at night? Can you turn it right down to zero? Because at night, uh, in my experience on the bridge. Uh, the, the deck officers are always sticking things over lights, you know, because they irritate them. So that this is all, you can turn these right down to zero brightness. Uh, yeah, 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 they go right. But they go right down, yeah? So, so it's not like, it's not annoying at night? No, for the night. change the navigation for the night. Right. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, so that's that was my concern with this kind of equipment is that yeah. you can't turn it down dark enough. Uh, but uh, obviously they they've no, thought about that. Navigation uh, nights, navigation mm -hmm. change all uh, the screen, change the lights, the bright, change everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very different uh, situation. Okay. Yeah. All right. That is for Justin. Oh yeah. That is nice. Yeah. <laughs> like a Formula One. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Like a racing Yeah, yeah. yeah? <laughs> okay, thanks very much, Captain. No Thank you. Okay, so up here we have very top deck. As you can see, it's very busy up here. Just wanted to look at the technology here, so. Uh, so you got three domes here. Uh, I would say that the middle one at the top is the is for VSAT because it's at the top of the masts and generally that's what it should be. And then you've got two other domes here, which are most likely for TV. Uh, two uh, TVROs, one on either side because the mast gets in the way. So they have a switchover system. So uh, if the boat's at anchor, say for instance, and it swings around and it just switches over from one, to one uh, antenna to the other. And you've got the Furuno radar. You've got an S-band, the longer one is the S-band. And then the smaller one is the X-band. So the top one is uh, X-band, uh, nine gigahertz. And the bottom one is the S-band, 2.4 gigahertz. And then you got a lot of little stuff up there. If you look just above the white Furuno, I don't know whether you can see that, let's see if I can zoom in. There's a, a flare camera, which is a night vision camera. Well, I'll go and speak to flare. I'm sure they're here. They were here last year. I'll speak to them and uh, we'll, we'll go through what that camera does. And then up the top there, you've got lots of little uh, VHF antennas. And then you've got MRSAT C antennas, GPS antennas, lots of other stuff up there. Yeah, so uh, as I was saying, uh, it's a lovely boat. Uh, unfortunately, um, I can't get in the engine room. Uh, I did ask. I was. I just kind of walked onto the bridge. I wasn't expecting to be even allowed on the bridge, but the uh, captain was quite gracious. Um, unfortunately, I can't get in the engine room. It's all closed. So, uh, so we're going to move on. I uh, hope you enjoyed the little tour of this boat. Uh, hopefully, we'll get on some more during the uh, during the show. All right. So I just spoke to the broker about going into the engine room, and he's going to check for me and see if I can get down there. So fingers crossed. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> you're, you're the chief engineer. I thought you were the captain. I just, I just realized. This okay. Wow. Build control, yeah. Generator. Generator, yeah. Three. Okay. Okay. So whether you would you normally run like two engines and then you run all three all the time? We prefer to navigation with three engines. Okay. 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 That's the air conditioning system. Air conditioning. We have in navigation, we have a 24 degree here. Oh, yeah. Good, uh. Nice. <laughs> Hydraulic system for a camera. It's what? Hydraulic system Rolls Royce for jets. Okay. Oh, control jet. jets control. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. This is Rolls Royce. Nice. Rolls Royce jet control. Okay. Not a lot of space for you to work, is there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Tender garage. But it's too small. Tender garage. Okay. Right. Tender garage. Wow, that's tight as well. Wow. So this this launches out the sides, is it? Side. The starboard side. Both sides is that? It's the port side. Port side. Okay. Port side. So that's so you have a shell door that opens out. On the port side. Um, the door is here. It's okay. open hydraulic. And the, the fan, the video crane go out. Okay. 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 My is small, huh? It's very small. Uh, yeah. But it's, uh, it's, uh, it's well packaged, isn't it? It's, everything's right there. How many, how many crew, uh, how many yeah. en engineers? Just, just one? You're, that's it. You're the chief engineer and the motorman. <laughs> everything. Electrician, electronic, mechanic. Wow. Everything. So you do all the. There's a problem with the TV, the visa, the internet. That's all you. You're a man of many talents. Wow. Yeah, we see. One, two, and three. Okay. Laptop for to check everything. <laughs> One wow. for A system, A B system, A B system. Navigation system. Okay. Wow. So it's all. Uh, who who did the uh, installation of the uh, 
AVIT? No, no, adult installation. Installation uh, from uh, Holland, the company. Okay. But I control. Okay. I have, uh, yeah. All, all the okay, but who who installed it? Like, when it was built? The Dutch whole, uh, company. Dutch. BBH? Was it? Uh, Mr. Smith. Oh, Mr. Smith. Yeah. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll have a chat to them. I see them in Palma. They, they have an office in Palma, I think, in Mallorca. Ah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Alright, great. Thanks very much. Thanks again. You Are you the only... Uh, the captain's not here today, no? Yes, yes. Okay. Usually the chief engineer's left in charge while the captain goes plays golf. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah.